All crops depend on nutrients from the soil to support their growth and development. Due to the continuous cultivation without following, most fields are depleted of the nutrients needed to effectively support this growth and development in order to achieve good harvests. This is why adequate and timely fertilizer application has become so crucial in farming in northern Ghana. Most often when talking about fertilizer application, consideration is only given to chemical fertilizers such as NPK, ammonia, urea, single superphosphate or triple superphosphate. In this message, however, we are going to talk about another kind of fertilizer, the organic type. Organic fertilizers refer to all natural materials that can be added or incorporated into the soil to provide nutrients and make the soil richer. When these organic fertilizers are added to the soil, they undergo decomposition to become organic matter. These kinds of fertilizers are relatively cheaper, more environmentally friendly, and offer more benefits to the soil than chemical fertilizers. In addition to providing the nutrients necessary to support the growth of your crops, organic fertilizers are able to improve the structure of the soil, making them better and more stable to withstand unfavorable conditions, whereas chemical fertilizers do not provide this structural benefit. In this message, we will discuss mulching and the application of organic fertilizers to your field. There is a separate message that takes you through the step-by-step -step process of preparing compost, which is another form of organic fertilizer. During land preparation and weeding, weeds are slashed and cleared from the field. Usually, farmers gather these weeds together and burn them. This is not a good practice. You should not burn the weeds. During land preparation, leave the slash weeds on the field for it to be ploughed into the soil. After your crops have germinated and you carry out weeding activities on your field, do not collect the weeds from your field, but leave them on the soil. Remember that these organic materials that will decompose to become nutrients in your soil and support the growth of your crops. Mulching is the practice of leaving a protective covering of leaves, weeds, and other plant residues or products on the surface of the soil around the base of your plants. As mentioned earlier, these materials or mulch will decompose to become nutrients to enrich your soil. In addition to this, it will prevent the easy loss of water from the soil through evaporation and also restrict the re-emergence of weeds on your field. Another kind of organic material that can serve as a fertilizer is animal waste or droppings, such as cow dung or poultry droppings. Even though they are highly rich in nutrients for your soil, gathering them in large quantities can be very difficult indeed. If there is anyone in your village who rears animals, you can arrange with him to be collecting the droppings from the barn. Once you collect them in significant quantities, you can transport them to your field and keep them covered or under shade. Now that you have the animal droppings collected in heaps on your field, wait for the early stages of the farming season when the first rains have just begun. You can then spread the waste on the field to be ploughed into the soil during land preparation a few weeks before you plant your field. This will give enough time for proper incorporation into the soil without burning or scorching your plants. Application that is done too early too might lead to the loss of the nutrients before they can be used by the plants due to the volatile nature of the droppings. About 15 donkey truck loads, which is about two or three tons per acre, should be mixed thoroughly with the soil. Application is also best done in the morning. A variation to this method of plowing in the organic matter on the whole field is called the Zai method. For this method, early land preparation is necessary. After land preparation, you will need to mark out the entire field for the planting zones of your cowpea, groundnut or soybean variety. You will then need to dig holes with your hoe or cutlass at your marked spots over the entire field. 
Collect and fill the holes with your organic manure or animal droppings as you move around the field until all the holes are filled. With this method of application, you make the most of the manure you have by applying it at the very spots where your plants will stand. It is also better because the manure is applied at the depth where it is not easily lost to the environment and is available for optimal use by the plants. This should be done when the rains have just started and there is some moisture in the soil to aid in the dissolution of the nutrients into the soil. This method of organic fertilizer application is very labor intensive, but it is very effective in rejuvenating fields and in cases where you have a limited supply of organic matter. Organic fertilizers are generally cheap or free to acquire, environmentally safe, and it's a sustainable method of farming that will keep your soil rich and strong. However, the amount of energy and time needed to transport and apply it on the farm is great, so you will need to make preparations for farm labor. Remember that application of organic fertilizer will eventually reduce the amount of chemical fertilizers needed by your crops to grow and do well. Thank you.